Hi Shaker Plums, welcome back to my channel. Happy Vlogmas! This year I'm going to be uploading a video every single day. As you guys may know, I've tried in the past and it didn't always work out so well, but this year I'm feeling super motivated and I'm feeling super confident that I can do videos every day in December. So I'm really excited about this journey and I want you guys to hold me accountable if I don't post. Um, but I literally plan on posting. I have so many ideas, guys. You have no idea. Like, so many ideas. I wrote them all down. I have a video planned for each and every day this month. So, a lot of the difficulty is, like, finding video ideas. But I already have the video ideas. So, I am ready. I am ready to produce some content for you guys. You guys saw the title of the video. You know exactly what this video is about today. And I am really excited to be doing this video. But... Lo and behold, I'm going to give my honest and truthful opinion as always. Just because I'm friends with this person does not mean I'm going to cut them any slack. And it's only right that I do a review on this because I am the sugar plum king. As you guys know, I call all my fans and you guys sugar plum. So it only makes sense that I would review a sugar plum fragrance. Um, and here it is. Let me get a little good little focus. So this is the packaging, um, this is Gabby's new fragrance, and this is her Beautiful Mess fragrance, and I actually got this a couple months ago, like before it even came out, and I know it just came out yesterday when you guys are really excited to review this, just because it is so cute, I literally already love the packaging, me and Gabby have very similar vibes and very similar aesthetics, and you, you guys know, me and Gabby are very similar, we're best friends, duh, um, so I'm almost positive I'm gonna like this, but who knows, maybe I won't like this, and... I did not smell it yet, actually, so this is my first time I told Gabby I wanted to wait to review this. It's really funny because I 100% know the backstory to this whole entire perfume because back then, like, the college days, me and Gabby, like I said, loved being trash couture, loved being glamorous, but ratchet on weekends, and Gabby's always actually talk about making a fragrance that kind of represents, like, having fun, but being serious, so... As you guys can see, it's literally still in the packaging and everything. I guess we're going to jump into this video because I don't want it to be too wordy. But I will say this. At the end of the video, I'm going to kind of go around my boyfriend and ask him if he likes my scent. And as you guys know, Rob is very honest. He can be very crucial and very brutal sometimes. And he does not know that Gabby has a perfume out right now. So, he's not going to even assume it's her. He's probably going to think I'm wearing like Chanel, Dior, Givenchy, or YSL because that they are my favorite perfumes. If you guys watched my last perfume collection, you guys already know my favorite scent. So he's probably going to assume it's one of those, but he might be a little skeptical if I'm asking him what I'm wearing. But I guess that's enough of the small talk. We are going to start Vlogmas off right and... The best way to start vlogging this off is to review the Gabby DiMartino Beautiful Mess Perfume. So it's in this really cute packaging, like very blush pink, very baby pink. I love those colors. You guys know I'm always wearing blush pink. And just check out my Instagram feed. And before this video gets started, make sure you, make sure you like and subscribe so you are keeping up to date with all the videos that I'm going to be posting on this vlogmas. And give a comment down below if you have any video suggestions, just in case. But, yeah, we're going to get right into this video. So, I'm unboxing it right now. Ooh. So, it's very smooth. Very, very smooth. Let me bring it a little closer just so you guys can get a very good look. And on the front, it says Gabby DiMartino, Beautiful Mess, which is the title of her album, as you guys probably already know. And on the back, it says sugar plum, vanilla musk, and sweet pistachio are the key ingredients in beautiful mess. And guys, literally the first word is sugar plum, so you already know I'm excited because I'm just, I call all my friends sugar plums. And I've been using that word for so long, so it's just like really funny. So, a fruity floral gourmand accord featuring lavishly lush combination of a creamy macaroon dazzled in apples and peaches. I love peaches. Walked into the land of sweets with a backdrop of cherry blossom and white jasmine. I also love jasmine. I've been using the Pixie like jasmine collection. Guys, that stuff smells amazing. And let them be beautiful plus messy in this irresistibly delicious fragrance. So I love that. Let them be beautiful plus messy because, guys, let's just be real. 
we're all a beautiful mess. Especially if you're following me or Gabby, you're probably a beautiful mess as well. And that's why you find so much humor in us, but I love it. And I feel like me and Gabby have always just had this very like trash couture, very glam, but get trashy on weekends vibe. And we just love that vibe so much. We love to look very classy. But we love to like get down and crazy like the rest of them because a lot of people just assume me and Gabby are very stuck up and very like kind of mean and we're just like not like we might look like that like don't get me wrong I know we look like mean girls but we're not we're actually really fun and like I kid you not most people that meet us in person are very surprised at how nice we are because they see how we look online and a lot of people can make the misconception that we are mean and you guys know the whole spiel we're actually really nice and that's really cool. And I know you guys are probably like, didn't you? I just want to clear this era too because I feel like it's been cleared already. But me and Gabby haven't made like a public video about this. But for like, we've made up like years ago, like two years ago at this point. It's old news. I'm sick of seeing. I'm sick of seeing the comments like, are you and Gabby still friends? Yes, me and Gabby are still friends. Friends go through things. That is life. Things happen. You move on. So I'm unboxing. So I'm gonna open this up. And I'm gonna... Okay. So already, I love the little pink pearl. Kind of reminds me of like a bubble gum or like a gum drop. And I think it's a really cute packaging. I mean, I didn't expect anything less. Very glamorous. Kind of like a diamond almost. With a pink pearl. And you guys know I love my pearl. So this is just totally on brand for me. And I'm honestly looking for a new winter fragrance. So I'm hoping that this can be... The fragrance that I wear all winter long, I think it'd be really cool to wear like my best friend's fragrance, you know? I don't know. So I'm gonna just take it off. Very easy to take off, but it's definitely like secure. It's not gonna like, you know, like, I'll just show you guys. You know, like it's not, it's not just gonna fall off. So this has some weight. This is not plastic. This is glass, like this is glass. This is not plastic, it feels very expensive and I love the Gabby Martino Beautiful Mess logo on the front of it, which I don't know if you guys can see. And it kind of has like that pink hue to it, which I think is super, super pretty. And we're gonna spray this, guys. And you guys know I'm very glamorous, I'm very fabulous, I love all things glam. So I'm just hoping that Gabby's perfume can match up to her glamorous lifestyle. So I guess we'll find out right now. I'm gonna do a couple sprays. I'm gonna spray in the air just to show you guys how it sprays. Wow. I like spray a lot, so. Wow, I think this smells so freaking good. It's very like, Fruity. It, it's, you definitely smell the sugar plum. You definitely smell vanilla, which guys, I love vanilla. Anything vanilla bean is just like amazing. Yeah, guys, this smells like so good. Genuinely, it smells really good. Mm, I definitely smell like some kind of musk, which it, everything that is on the back of this is what you're smelling. It's a very cute combination, which I love because I love, because you know how some scents are like very musky, but they don't have like that like super like sweet. Or like, I feel like this perfume has like everything. I feel like you can wear it for every occasion, especially going out. If you don't like going out, you can wear this to church, you can wear this to school. You could wear this anywhere, like literally anywhere. And that's what I love about this. Mmm, I'm like honestly so surprised it smells this good. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Not that I like didn't expect it to smell bad, but like you guys know what I mean. It's just so weird to see your best friend like put out like such good stuff it's just so weird like it's so crazy especially when you know the people in person like when you know someone in person it just makes it all the more crazy but wow I definitely smell like a macaroon so I would say it kind of smells like I don't know if you guys have ever gone to like a macaroon shop or if you the guys have like smelled macaroons like really close up it literally smells like a macaroon but it also smells like a sugar plum guys this is a really good perfume. I really, really, really like it. And I think this might be my winter fragrance. Don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure 99.99997% sure this is going to be my new winter fragrance. So if we meet in person, which I don't know because of the pandemic, if you smell me and I smell good, it's 
The Beautiful Mess by Gabby Martino. And guys, I kid you not, I am like a perfume expert. I'm like a fragrance expert. Like, I, like so many people always give me compliments on my perfumes or colognes or whatever I decide to wear that day. Because I just have such a good niche for like things that smell good. I have this phobia of like smelling bad. So like I always want to smell good. And... I'm so proud of you, Gabby. Congratulations on your new perfume. I'm definitely going to be wearing it. And I want to tell my sugar plums to definitely go out and buy this perfume. I think it smells so good. But I will update you guys on my Instagram stories and all that. Make sure you're following me on all those because I'm going to be updating you guys on if this is long wearing. Because right now I'm only wearing it for right now. And I love the scent and I love all that right now. But who knows, I could walk out the door right now and I cannot smell anything. So I'm going to let you guys know on my story and Twitter if this is long wearing or not. Because I know a lot of you guys probably don't have time to just be touching up sprays every now and then. So I'm going to let you guys know if this goes a long way, how long this will last, if it's a 10 hour perfume, if it's a 2 hour perfume, if it's a 4 hour perfume. I'm going to let you guys know because I want to give my honest and genuine review um, despite this being my best friend. I still want to... Be honest on YouTube. And I've been getting into reviews lately. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. But I've really been getting into reviews. And I think it's just so much fun to like review products. I don't know why I'm just now deciding to review things. But I think it's just so much fun. And I really had fun um, reviewing my Nikita Dragon palette. But yeah guys. I really really love this. It's very fruity. And now I'm going to go um, find my boyfriend. And I'm going to let you guys know. He thinks, actually I'm going to get his reaction on camera just so you guys can get his honest perspective. And I'm not going to cut it out. If he doesn't like it, it's going to stay in the video. Um, I'm almost positive he'll like it. He'll probably think it's like Chanel, Dior, YSL, any of those. Because I could definitely say this smells like a luxury perfume. But it is not luxury perfume price, which makes it all the better. It, I always say it's better to ball on a budget. I think it's so much better if you can get luxury items without necessarily spending luxury money you know um because not everyone can afford luxury things so i think it's awesome that gabby made this very affordable for people that want to smell luxury that can't afford luxury products so i definitely will like to recommend that and yeah we're gonna go downstairs and see what my boyfriend has to say about this perfume i have no idea what he's gonna say um but let's hope for the best i'm almost positive he'll like it because he likes anything i wear but you never know, Rob can beat times. So we're going to go downstairs real quick. I'm going to leave my beauty room and we're going to get his honest reaction on camera. And I'm going to try not to make it super clear that I'm filming something. Actually, he doesn't even know what I'm filming. So, guys, okay, so I found Rob. Let's ask. <laughs> Hi, BB. <laughs> so what do you think I'm wearing, BB? Do you like what I, do you like how I smell today? Mm-hmm. What do you think I'm wearing? Do you think this is something new? Do you think this is something I already have? Like, what, what's your, what's your opinion? I don't think it's something you already have, because I know your typical smells, but maybe like a Chanel or something? Mm -mm. Not sure. No, actually, it's not. But you like it? Like, you think it smells good? Mm-hmm. It smells really good. You're not going to believe what I'm wearing. <laughs> what am I wearing? Gabby's perfume. She came out with a perfume. Like, oh, did she? I think wow. yesterday. Well, technically today. But, so you like the smell? Yeah, it smells awesome. Oh, thanks, BB. Congrats, Gabby. Mm, you're so sweet. Yeah. Well, you heard it here first, Rob. The honest opinion person. Mm -hmm. I approve. <gasps> likes the scent. So, yeah, I'm going to end this video here. Make sure you guys are subscribing and liking on my videos. I have a lot of content coming for Vlogmas. So... Come back tomorrow because there's going to be another video. And I love you, Sugar Plum, so much. And I will see you in the next one. Mwah.